What's up guys, Blake from the Full Boost team and today we're back at it with another hacks video and today our inspiration is Cristiano Ronaldo and we'll be revealing specific hacks CR7 does himself to improve his game. Let's go! Make sure you don't miss out on all of our latest content, turn on notifications and make sure you're subscribed. So this hack you'll know that a lot of professional footballers actually do this, including Cristiano Ronaldo and this is all about how you wear your socks and your shin pads. Let's go! So as you can see on screen, there will be four steps you need to do to match your socks like Cristiano Ronaldo. The first step is to get a pair of training socks, Adidas or Nike, and obviously match those socks with your kit colors. So put the training sock on as high as you can up your calf, and then the next step is to get your shin pads, and you tuck them into the training sock. Once you've tucked your shin pad into your sock, the next step is crucial, and this is where you'll need your pair of scissors. So you get your playing sock and you cut just below the brand logo or just above it, depending on the Adidas or Nike sock you have. So once cut, you slide it up your cuff and position it over the shin pad and over your training sock, and that's step three. And the last step is, of course, how we stick it all together. We get a bit of sock tape and we tape it all together. So that is how CR7 wears his socks on a match day. A lot of professional footballers, as I said, do this. And it's the best way to get your socks very comfortable, yet high performing. Definitely a good hack, but yes, scissors are required for this. So one of the more controversial hacks, this is all about trimming that collar down to make it a low cut boot or a semi mid cut boot like what Cristiano Ronaldo prefers on his football boots. Now we've got the Superfly 5, as you can see on screen, we are cutting that dynamic fit collar full length. So it's going to be a low cut boot after it's completed. So it's definitely going to have that feel of what Cristiano Ronaldo wants in a football boot. So CR7 has always been a fan of low cut football boots and when the Superfly 4 came out in 2014, the first to feature a full mid cut collar, Ronaldo said to Nike, can you make me a version with a smaller height collar? So the first option for this hack is simply invest in a low cut football boot. If you have a boot with a collar, then the second option is to trim it down a bit. But again, this will end your warranty with Nike, so I don't recommend it. But it might just free up the space around your ankle and make them easy to put on. Thankfully, Nike now have the Superfly 360, which does feature the preferred collar height of the main man himself. So you could just buy that boot. So this hack is all about something Cristiano Ronaldo did back in his Manchester United days on the training ground. So as confirmed by former Manchester United teammate Rio Ferdinand, he said that Cristiano Ronaldo wears weights on his ankles for training. We got step overs. He used to put these mad things on his feet, these weights, and do mad step overs. I just think, are you mad? What are you doing? So what does this actually do? Well, weights on your ankles does make your ankles and your feet much heavier. So if you wear them in training, you can get used to heavier legs. So when you take them off, you're going to be much quicker on your feet and your feet will be more agile as well. Ankle weights is something Cristiano Ronaldo did to make him run faster and accelerate quicker off the line. Another unique thing Cristiano Ronaldo did back in his Manchester United days was something he did with his football boots to make them more responsive and what he thought to be higher performing. Setting the world alight with his majestic trickery and skills on the wing for the Red Devils, Ronaldo used to wear football boots which were one to two sizes smaller than his true size. Ronaldo, who is a true size 9, the same as me, was wearing a size 7.5 football boot. He did this because he wanted absolutely no foot slide or movement inside his mercurials. He was wearing, so yes, it would have made the boots more responsive, but know that the mercurials he was wearing were naturally narrow and tight fitting anyway. As said by many podiatrists, it would cause for serious long term injury, but scoring a ton of goals and winning everything there is under the sun, I don't think they damage his feet too much. So I say do what CR7 does if you want to have a high performing football boot. I wouldn't recommend going two sizes down, but maybe half to a full size down. So back in the mid 2000s, Cristiano Ronaldo was wearing very, very stiff Mercurial Vapors and Mercurial Superflies. So what did he do to soften his uppers? He created what was known as the hot water trick. Now this is all about softening the uppers using hot water. You can either use a running tap or you can dip your feet into a bowl of hot water as well. So all you need to do for the hot water trick is to get a running hot water tap or to get a bowl of hot water. You dip your feet into the hot water or you get a running tap and you can soften the uppers using hot water. Now don't use boiling water, that will damage the uppers and damage the glue as well. Use warm to hot water, 
and that will soften the uppers in the initial break-in period. So most modern day football boots won't need you to do the hot water trick. Something like the Superfly, Adidas's X and the Predators are all soft enough so you don't need to do that on those models. Something like New Balance's Visaro 3 Pro was very very stiff straight from the get-go so maybe the hot water trick might work on that but Cristiano Ronaldo obviously doesn't do this trick anymore to his football boots but when the uppers are so so stiff the hot water trick is your best solution. Now this hack is scientifically proven to actually enhance your play. It's all about the colour of your boots and Cristiano Ronaldo does not like one specific colour. On all of his signature boots he does not really like the colour black. It's too classic for him. He wants a speedy modern colourway on all his signature editions apart from maybe the Gala or Savage Beauty. He does, does not like black. It's scientifically proven to enhance your game. When you're wearing bright boots you actually run faster by very very small percentages but it does make a difference and Cristiano Ronaldo as seen on his signature boots likes to wear bold boots. Now this is the built on Dream Superfly 360 of course it's very very bold it's only got a bit of black on the back but overall all of his signature boots and all the boots he has worn has a lot of color on them so that is the hack wear colorful football boots you might actually run one percent quicker but it does actually make a small difference this next hack is all about training tips and things cr7 does to help his game Ronaldo, as you probably know has a world-class diet and has said so himself I watch my diet, eat healthily and avoid things that are bad for me like alcohol, sugary sodas and processed foods. I focus on eating simple whole foods like fresh fruits and vegetables, whole grains and lean protein. The second tip is all about getting the right amount of rest and sleep. CR7 says I go to bed early and get up early, especially before matches. Sleep helps my muscles to recover which is really important. Training and gym workouts are vital, but living a relaxed lifestyle helps you to be at your best you can be, physically and both mentally. The last tip is all about your mindset. CR7 says, I set goals to train my mind as well as my body. Mental strength is just as important as physical strength and it helps me to achieve more on and off the pitch. I always make sure I have good music to listen to, it helps me get motivated and do my best. I like to listen to hip hop and reggae. Now this hack again is done by a lot of professional footballers including Cristiano Ronaldo. It's all about the type of sole plate he wears on match days and on training pitches. Now as you can see in training pitches and on match days Cristiano Ronaldo prefers to wear soft ground studs on firm ground surfaces. Why? One because on match days they water the grounds right before kickoff so he doesn't want to slip over hence why he wears soft ground studs on firm ground surfaces. It's something he does in training as well so he can mould his feet to his boots in training and have them ready for the match day. So wear soft ground boots, obviously this is the firm ground of the Superfly 360 of his current boots. So wear the soft ground version in training and on match days and it'll get you more traction especially on match day surfaces. So this hack is all about Cristiano Ronaldo's weird superstitions. Now he has a lot of weird ones, I'll read them out on this clipboard. So the first one, on the team bus CR7 sits alone in the back row and he is the last one who leaves the bus. Pretty arrogant if you ask me. When he plays for Portugal in Real Madrid he always sits with Pepe and he is the first to leave the plane. Next one, in the locker room at half time he must change his hairstyle, that is crazy. Next one, he must touch the ball before leaving the dressing room. With Portugal he is the only player to wear a long sleeve jersey, that is, that is mad. The next one, he always steps onto the pitch with his right foot. When scoring, he waves to his family first. I don't quite believe in that one. And the last one is he does tape his right wrist. I don't know why. It's all these superstitions. Probably a lot of professional footballers have these. And you probably yourself have your own superstitions just before kickoff or enduring the match as well. So I don't actually know if all of these are actually true, but a lot of professional footballers have superstitions and you as well. Watching this video, you probably as well have some match day superstitions, but these are the ones that work for Cristiano Ronaldo. So you can actually try these ones or just stick with your own. So this hack is all about the type of footwork Cristiano Ronaldo is wearing on his feet. Now, he's been wearing the Mercurial for a long, long time now. Ever since he was back at Manchester United, as well as spotting Lisbon, back in 2001 2002 he's been a Nike Mercurial fan for a long time but what essentially is a Nike Mercurial well Nike Mercurial is a speed boot and it has a barefoot feel on the upper it's also very high performing this is of course his current boot the built on dreams chapter 7 superfly 360 it's very very high performing it's very narrow it's going to provide him the most comfortable feel yet be the most highest performing boot he can actually put on his feet yes Adidas Nike Puma all have very high performing boots but in terms of performance 
you can't beat the Mercurial Superfly. So this is all about wearing speed boots and specifically the Mercurial Vapor or the Superfly. So hopefully I've given you a better insight into what CR7 actually does with his boots, with his socks, with his shin pads. He has some weird superstitions. You can try at home on the training pitch, on the match day pitch as well. If you enjoyed watching this video, give it a like. If you don't like some of these hacks, give it a dislike. Thank you very much for watching and as always, we'll see you next time.